is Kira and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome, and how are you? So, dun, 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 in today's video, I am going to be drawing on phew, these labels. Let me, let me just, eh, eh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be drawing on these labels because why not? I actually had my friend pick me up a few because I had to mail some stuff off. And then I remember seeing some artists draw on these mostly kind of like graffiti artists and absolutely love graffiti art i'm still trying i'm still trying to dabble in that too i just have too much to learn but anyway so i'm just gonna be drawn on three of them hopefully i can get through three two of them will have my original characters on there because i just feel like drawing my original characters and the third one well you're just gonna have to wait and watch the video to see what i draw so yes we're gonna do that today but before we jump straight into the video I'm going to build this because she's going to be added on to my desk collection and I actually have too many of these but I picked many up at work so I'm just going to build her and then we'll get into the video. All right. Ryan Little. <laughs> guys and just like that she is done the new addition to my desk which I'm probably gonna run out of room soon but they're just like super cute I have so many of these I'll include a pan shot of all the other ones. Ryan Little <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting off with my character, Rain. Yes, I finally named my demon babe. <laughs> she has a name, and I actually put up a poll on Instagram between two names that I went down to and I couldn't decide which one. So I let them vote, and Rain was the most voted for. So her name is Rain. I still don't have a backstory for her. Like, I'm still trying to get everything together in, like, her universe. I'm still trying to find, like her personality you know the usual like character making stuff because i really find it weird that her design came first and now i'm trying to put a personality to her but hey you know sometimes that stuff just happens and you can't help it but i'm just happy she now has a name and i don't have to keep calling her my demon babe because she has a name now a name <laughs> anyway i really don't have much to say i wasn't going for like anything special i was just going for something simple because i was like i want to spruce up my sketchbook especially my new one my old one's taking me quite a while to feel but I've just been in one of those moods where I don't feel like sketching in my sketchbook a lot more I like sketching on like loose pieces of paper I don't know I'll go through random phases but I'm like I don't think I'll have like 16 pages left in my sketchbook and I want to hurry up and finish it so I can go to my new one but I was like nah we make my own like homemade stickers of some sort so decided to do my original characters because I have to start loving them and I kind of abandoned like my old original characters for like my elves and stuff I'm still trying to get their stuff worked out too it's like just so much like working out I have to do it's a lot it's really a lot but I'm proud of the sticker actually I don't know I think I'm just biased because red is my favorite color and I just like how red and black looks together I mean that could be it that could be it
Okay, so next sticker is another original character. Her and Ryan are in the same universe, same world. Um, this is my character, Ramona. Yes, I know, two, two R names, it's great. Also had a poll for her on my Instagram as well because I couldn't between, I couldn't decide between. I couldn't between, Kira. <sighs> I couldn't decide between two names so of course just went on instagram and let them vote and the most popular name was ramona but we're just gonna say she goes by momo and when i designed her it's actually pretty bad because i loved i really liked her design more than more than rains but no i still love rains but anyway as i was sketching her and like inking her i was like crap i still haven't picked out her like color scheme kind of like how rain is like you know like the the typical succubus demon like color black and red I didn't have a color for her so I was like I'm just gonna fill in the background and just to leave her you know just block out the background and just leave her the color of the paper and stuff which I actually liked how it turned out I really need to figure out a color for her and actually the color of the background is like a burnt orange a burnt orange which is the color I was thinking about making her but she still came out cute and in this next clip that's about to start showing, actually, oh, here we go, we're on it. I actually was like, hmm, I'm gonna try to laminate it. Oh, I don't have a laminator. But you know what I do have? I have tape. And you know what? It got the job done, even though I was struggling. The struggle was real on this tape, like, so real. But I remember doing this when I was younger, of course, because I didn't have a laminator. I still don't. But I was like, you know what? Tape works fine. I just want to put it on my sketchbook to protect it anyway. So yeah, packaging tape, guys. You know, if you just want to get the job done, just get some tape. It's okay. I mean, it's not gonna look as professional. And I actually messed up right there. Like it moved at the last second. I was like, oh my God, please don't rip. Please don't rip. That's the only struggle of dealing with this package tape, but I'm still proud of it, I still used it, and you know, it's just gonna get the job done for me. So, you know, artist hacks, boom. You wanna laminate your homemade stickers? Psh, put tape over it, it gets the job done just as well. <laughs> And here are the two finished product. I didn't tape laminate this one, not yet. But I did, of course, as you saw in the video, tape laminated this one, but I did miss like a spot right there. But it's okay, they're just going on my sketchbooks and I'm so happy with them. This was so fun to do. Oops, hold on, let me just turn the camera a little bit. Okay, there we go. But these are really, really fun to do. But I am going to say that you don't have to use these postal label things. You don't have to use them to make your own stickers. You can use just like simple labels, but you can get the ones, of course, that don't have like label patterns on it. They're just like plain sticker sheets. You can also buy those and just draw on it and, you know, cut out whatever stickers you want on it but that's if you want to make like your own stickers for your your own personal use and you're not selling them this is just for like personal use only <laughs> i mean i'm pretty sure people can find a way to like do custom stickers that would be cool but i'm mostly just gonna be using these to put on my sketchbook because i like to decorate my sketchbook and then i'm also trying to love my art so yes that's also another option but yeah you don't have to use these postal things i just had two i just had a few laying around and I was like, hmm, let me just use two of them. Well, I was going to use three, but y'all know what happened. Yeah. But anyway, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. And of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye. Ooh, ooh.